For example, there are Lyrans in Cassiopeia and Cygnus. Hello everyone, my name is Valeria and in this channel I talk about spirituality and esoterics. So in today's video I'm going to talk about six ways that I have used to remember my galactic lineage and that I also use to help other people to remember this. So remember that when we say that we are star seeds, it usually doesn't mean that we have just lived in one specific star system, but more that we have a soul history with different incarnations and also visits and missions without incarnation to different star systems. And also some of these are part of our DNA and so on. So I'm going to talk about also why we should complement these ways and use more than one. So remembering our galactic lineage, our galactic origins, our lives in other worlds is not something that we can do just at once. It is more that we go deeper and deeper and maybe we remember more each month, for example, and we remember more details and things start to, start to become more and more full circle. So, the number one way that I want to mention is using Akashic Records readings also called soul records and so on. So with these readings you can see some of the lives that someone has lived in different star systems. You can get insight about how this person was living in which star system, which dimension, how was its body, which was its main mission and so on. So for this I personally use a kind of reading that I call avatar records reading because our avatar self is at dimension 12 and I like to explore these 12 dimensions, these 12 aspects of a person. So I like to connect with the avatar aspect of a person in order to receive the most information that is available at this moment because our avatar version knows our self like our complete self in each of these 12 dimensions okay so the good thing about using these techniques these akashic records is that we can go deeper in what we are receiving and it might be something that is new for us Maybe we are seeing a different plane, a parallel life, maybe we receive a name that we haven't heard before and so on. So the cons of this way is that it can become really ungrounded and if other person is reading for us, we have to just believe in, one, in what this person is receiving. Okay, so the number two way that I want to mention is using galactic astrology. This is something that I received some time ago, the guidance, like the idea of using these fixed stars, but I had to wait a bit in order to be able to go deeper into that. And this year I had the chance to get certified in this wonderful galactic astrology modality and the really wonderful thing about this is that you can see the information in your chart so it is not like you have to blindly trust what other person is saying about you about your other lives and well you want to complement this Galactic Astrology always with your intuition, with Akashic Records, but you can really get lots 
of information, a lot of insight from your astrological chart about your most ancient origin, where you were before coming to Earth, specific karma with certain races, where you have incarnated, stars that you have visited, and so on. Other advantage is that you can discover star systems that are not so known. Because the thing about using just Akashic records is that sometimes people just talk about the same star systems and races like Andromeda and Arcturus and so on. So with this astrology you can go deeper in different star systems like Hadar and so on. The number three is that you can use some kind of regression hypnosis technique This is interesting because with just one regression you are not going to know all your galactic lineage but you are going to be able to go really deep in some of these specific lives and when we are experiencing a regression we receive a lot of activations for ourselves This is when something is activated in us and we start to embody more of these attributes of this lifetime that we are remembering and retrieving of this aspect of ourselves that is at a different dimension or world and we also can receive really specific information, guidance, instant healing and specific memories that help us to embody more of our soul. You can ask, this is the number four, you can ask in meditation, especially if you recently had this starseed awakening and you are connecting with your higher self you can start to ask and feel, feel the different star systems, feel the different names and see which one do you resonate with. Maybe you will be shown some specific lifetimes while you are in meditation and so on. Number five is that you can ask to be shown in dreams. I will say that lots of people that resonate with star seeds is because they were shown in a dream one or more than one of their lifetimes in a different planet, in a different place, in a different star, maybe with different beings, maybe in spaceships. So if you are receptive enough, you can really receive beautiful memories from here, in this dream state. Then number six is that you can use divination techniques. Nowadays there are different oracles for star seeds that you can find. I have been using this galactic heritage oracle for a long time for doing readings and I really like these cards because they also show us the lessons, the karma of different star beings, what we are integrating, what we are learning and so on. It, it's really useful for our day to day, like the same with astrology, so I really like them. They just have so much races of beings, so I like to complement them with other ways of readings. But even though these cards work with really archetypal themes and we can get lots of useful information 
Now I want to talk about how I do readings and why I have been using different ways of readings together. So, my ideal way of doing this kind of reading is a balance between what we see in the physical, the physical reality, and what we can't see but our soul knows. So, Something that I really value about astrology is that it has a foundation in this physical reality that is based upon our birth date and we can see something written so we are associating the spiritual with the physical reality and this is similar to that which spiritual science tries to do, that is that it, it really looks for this balance, okay? So astrology acts as a confirmation sometimes of something that maybe we intuit as a validation and it also enables us to go deeper to some stuff that maybe would, would not have appeared in our exploration of consciousness, in our Akashic records, okay? But at the same time, it is always a good idea to complement this with Akashic records or the kind of reading that you do, but this kind of reading that gives us more information that might not appear in a natal chart, okay? So, this way that tells us about details, about what, maybe what I was doing in this star system, how was that lifetime for me more in detail, how was my body, if I had one, maybe we receive more information about Elohim, Nephilim, Seraphim, birth tribes, maybe we are shown colors of our soul that is so important, we receive names, these names, these, these names of these beings, like like seraphim, these beings that are beyond specific star systems. There are different reasons of why some beings that interact with us now, why we can't trace them back into a specific star system. So here we have parallel reality beings that live in spaceships, other point is that some beings maybe started in some place, but then they moved to a different star system. So, this is not all black and white. For example, there are Lyrans in Cassiopeia and Cygnus. As a personal experience, I used to do readings just with Akashic records and these oracle cards, but at one point I felt this resistance, so it's so important to pay attention to our resistance because it didn't mean that I was not going to do readings anymore, but I really needed to ground this kind of work, these readings. So I made this video to give you some guidance if you want to try different ways to know more about your galactic origins. We always can explore more about this and we can apply this to our day to day. And I also made this video so that you can have an idea about how I do these readings if you want to have one with me. My website is in the description box. And yes, so thank you so much for watching. If you resonate with this kind of content, with this starseed content, please subscribe to this channel and I am sending you so much love.